takes courage to break free from the society's expectations of you to not have to conform to a certain mold. Liza Soberano, for that reason, we gravitate towards that energy. Liza knows what she wants, she goes after it, and it's bold, it's brave for someone to risk everything that she has here in her home base to pursue a dream outside of her comfort zone. This October, we collaborated with BYS and the designers from BYS Fashion Week to showcase just that, a woman who has both grit and grace. This cover comes 10 years after Liza Soberano had her first ever preview cover in 2014. And you can just tell how much she's grown. She's more confident, more comfortable, and in a way, this cover continues to chronicle her journey. Our October cover centers on Liza wearing pieces from the BYS Fashion Week 2024. We chose to do the shoot in a warehouse or a junkyard to really offset or contrast the looks. You can say that it's the complete opposite of very demure and very mindful. The beauty looks also play an integral role in the shoot. We wanted it to be intentionally out of the box and not your typical leading lady. I've never been able to do a shoot to this scale or degree, but that makes it even more exciting because I know I'm operating on your intuition and of course the trust, um, my trust in, with the preview team and collaboration. The first thing I saw was texture, explosion, sort of. I actually saw a bit of myself in it, that kind of chaotic side of my femininity that I'm sort of tapping into now. And that's basically how I interpreted the deck, being able to expose this side of womanhood that's more gritty and textural, the settings in a junkyard. And I was super excited to be able to contextualize, of course, Liza in that setting and be able to play a part in telling that story. Hey Preview, this is Liza Soberano and I'm here on the set of the October 2024 cover. As you can see, the look of our set is a little bit unconventional today. We're outdoors shooting in the heat, but I'm having so much fun and I can't wait for you guys to see the cover. Since we wanted a very gritty, offbeat look, we had our eyes set on shooting in a car junkyard. Working with rocket sets, we were able to make this happen by styling an empty warehouse. This meant a very production-heavy shoot with tents and gen sets brought in. After all, if you're gonna do something, might as well commit and go all in, right? This was the prevailing mindset as we battled the heat and humidity that day. Helping us out throughout the day by perking everyone up, we had a coffee bar from Ufi that served curated drinks that were made especially for the shoot. So for our October 2024 cover, uh, Liza wore pieces by the designers featured in this year's BYS Fashion Week. She wore pieces by Martin Bautista, Inigo, Proud Race, and a couple of looks by Charlotte Folk and Russell Villafuerte. So the vibe for this particular cover shoot was very offbeat. I guess you could say that it's Liza like you've never seen before and she sported a very edgy vibe and I think she carried each piece really well. One thing about Lila is she really knows her fashion, um, she's really interested. She really talks about what she likes in fashion and she really knows her personal style well. So for this shoot, the mood was gritty, cool, and far from demure. So of course, the beauty looks had to reflect that. So we went with really bold eye makeup as well as wild hairstyles. For the first look, we had Liza in some graphic eyeliner and a pixie cut, which is something that we rarely see from her. But I think she really enjoyed seeing herself in short hair as well, which was a good thing for us. Then for the second look, we had her try some frosty blue eyeshadow as well as a vibrant red wig. And I think it really turned out well in the photos. So thank you to her makeup artist, Antea Buena, and her hairstylist, Paul Nebras, for helping us achieve these beautiful looks. We wanted to show a different side of Liza through this fashion film. We rarely see her in this type of image, styling, and makeup look. So in the video, we kind of wanted to push that concept even more. In the video, it's just very fun and we ask Liza to embody this nonchalant and cool girl image. Super far from how she really is in real life, which is super sweet and warm. 
I think it's very interesting. I've always wanted to do, like, personally, I've always wanted to try having a pixie cut. I think I'm just too chicken to actually do it. So it's nice that I get opportunities like this shoot to kind of experience it, even if it's for just a couple of hours. In terms of the makeup, I definitely like the look, the dewy skin, the kind of rock star kind of eye shadow makeup look, and then the nice glossy lip, um, which is kind of like a go-to look for me, I would say, these days.